Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we'll be continuing our discussion with the ortho center and uh, like this will be the last video discussing the ortho center because uh, if you remember like in the previous video we discussed lots of nice things about the ortho center especially the orthic triangle we discussed it indeed in details but uh, today we'll be discussing just the ortho center without its orthic triangle it turns out that without its orthic triangle alone it already like has some special uh, properties that are really effective in solving lots of hard geometry problems in math olympiad so what are we waiting for let's get started so as you can see from the title of this video like we'll be discussing the ref reflecting the ortho center so that means we're just reflecting the ortho center in this like uh, video so what exactly that uh, the thing like we'll be doing so as you can see here in our diagram we just have uh, like a simple triangle abc and we have the ortho center h right here and we took the midpoint of bc side bc let's call it like uh, m okay so here like we have a triangle a b c and we have here h the ortho center and m is just the midpoint and uh, we have actually here the points uh, like two points, as you can see, on the circumcircle of triangle ABC. These points are what exactly? They are the reflection of point H. Okay, so H prime, the first point, is the reflection of point H over what? Well, clearly over BC. So we're taking like this point H and we're reflecting it over BC, something like this. So this is like the first thing that we'll be doing. Okay, let's call like this point, like the new point. Uh, like let's call this point h prime h prime and the other like uh, point is actually also a reflection of h but over what well clearly also over m so here there's something like this so let's call this point like h prime prime double prime okay so as you can see like from the figure from the diagram uh, it's clear that if we reflect H over the side BC and over the midpoint M, then it, we will get two points that are on the circumcircle. Of course, you can like uh, feel free like to draw such like diagram on GeoGebra, for example, and play like with H, like try to change the triangle ABC perhaps. You will always see that these two reflections always they lie on the circumcircle of ABC. Well, why exactly is that true? Well, it turns out luckily that this is not really hard to prove. Try like to do it yourself and uh, now like we'll be just discussing that so first of all like let's simply prove that b h prime uh, like uh, h prime lies on the circumcircle so what exactly do we need to prove actually well it's really easy we just need to take like this c h prime and b h prime and we just need to show that this is cyclic like a c h prime b so what do we really need to prove? We just need to show that this angle here is 180 minus A. So like, let's try to find what is angle B, H prime C. If we can show that it's 180 minus A, then we're done. Okay, but how exactly can we find this angle? Well, remember, what is the definition of H prime? It's just a reflection of H over BC. So it's pretty obvious that we need to use the properties of reflection, right? Well, let's just do that. Let's take this angle, B, H c so as you can see this triangle bhc if we reflect it like over bc b still like is b because it lies on the like uh, the axis of reflection and c as well but h now becomes h prime so that means like the triangle is kind of flipped right now so that just means that guess what bh prime c is the same as bhc so this is equal to this but guess what what is this angle bhc you got it exactly it's just 180 minus a from our like previous uh, like work we said like it's very important to memorize so make sure if you forgot that uh, you should like re like revisit the videos and uh, make sure you memorize these angles so okay now we're done like we just showed that uh, it's 180 minus a so we already now know that h prime lies indeed on the circumcircle of abc okay good let's now erase that okay now let's go for h prime prime so the same thing exactly that we'll be doing, we'll try to prove that this angle here is 180 minus A, this one here. 
So actually, like you just like need to show that these two dudes are equal. Okay, how exactly can we do that? Well, also we need to use the definition of h prime prime. It's just a reflection over m. So guess what? Now it's really like similar to it. So if we take the triangle BHC and we reflect it over the point M, because M is the midpoint of BC, what is the, the image of point B? The image of point B when reflecting it over like the midpoint of BC, the image of point B is C. The same like the image of point C is B. And of course the image of point H is H prime prime. So guess what? That just means that uh, this angle we're looking for, BH prime prime C, is just BHC, which means that we're done, like B h prime prime c is also 180 minus a. All right, so that just means that indeed, uh, like this angle uh, is 180 minus a, so this cyclic quadrilateral, which means that it indeed lies on the circumcircle of the triangle ABC. All right, so our proof is done. Okay, actually, we're not done yet. Like we already have these nice things like the reflection of h over the side and over the midpoints, they lie on the circumcircle. But actually, we even more like know more stuff about point h prime prime. What is this point here? Well, actually, if you take a look here, we have a nice thing here. Because we know h, a h is the altitude, so like this is uh, 90 degrees, that means that a h h prime are collinear, right? Because after all, like, uh, what is h prime? It's the reflection of uh, h uh, over bc. So that means like also this is 90 degrees. So that, that just means if you just like draw, uh, like you want to reflect h over bc, simple. Draw the circumcircle of triangle abc and just like extend a h until it hits the circle at some point. Guess what? This is like h prime. Okay, that's good. But what happens if we do that actually? Of course, like we also know that, uh, oops, uh, we know that this one here, they're collinear because like it's just the definition of it, like H, H, M, and uh, H prime prime. Uh, okay, what does the, exactly that mean? Try to, look, to take a look at the diagram. We already know that this is 90, right? This is 90. And by the reflection stuff, like the definition of it, we already know that this is equal to this. Furthermore, this is equal to this. So what does that mean? That means, like using the midpoint like segment, like uh, we know that this thing here is like the uh, line that is bisecting the two sides of the triangle H, H prime, H prime prime. So that means it must be parallel to the base, which is H prime, H prime prime. So that means this is parallel to this. But guess what? This angle is 90, so that means this angle also is 90. Of course, like because you have two parallel lines and you have a line that's perpendicular to one of them, so it must be perpendicular also to the other one as well. So that means just uh, we have this angle is 90 degrees. But guess what? What does that really mean? If we know that a h prime, h prime prime is equal to 90 degrees, what does that mean? What is the point H prime prime? Of course, we know like the definition of H prime prime. The initial definition is that it's the reflection of H over M. But now we have another definition for it. Guess what? What is line A H prime prime now? This line, like if we draw this like uh, segment here, A H prime prime, in the circle, the circumcircle of ABC is just a diameter, right? because we know that this angle is 90, so it's just like a diameter. So that means we can like easily see what is point A, uh, like H prime prime. It's just like the reflection of A over O, which is the circumcenter, right? Like clearly that means that if you take the midpoint of here, it will be the center of the circle, which is like the circumcircle. All right, so that's really, really like some mouthful things here. Like uh, now, uh, let's like uh, do a recap. All right, as a summary, that means that like when we have the H on like in our question or in, like in any math Olympiad question, and somehow like you, we might like have an idea like as, at least like a tool in our pocket, which is reflecting H over the side. 
or maybe reflecting it over the midpoint of the side. So if we reflect it like over the side or over the midpoint of the side, we will get uh, like two points that are on the circumcircle, which is super nice. But furthermore, we already know what is the definition of the reflection a of H over the midpoint. It's actually a point that is opposite to the uh, like uh, vertex, like the, the original vertex, uh, like with respect, of course, to O, like uh, in the big circumcircle. So these are uh, like really, really effective like stuff that you will really like need in lots of uh, hard geometry uh, Olympiad questions. So it's like really useful to keep these like uh, theorems or like these techniques uh, in your mind. All right, so like actually I think now we're safe to like, okay, stop uh, with the ortho center and move on to other centers, which we will like be doing in our next videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and share and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video.